Hello and welcome to Bet Your Pet. My name is Peggy Babcock, the host with the most, and we are here with our first contestant, Gracie Mitchell. Let's find a bit more about her. Hiya, my name is Gracie Mitchell. I'm 21 and this is Cuddles. She's about six months old and we're here to win a million pounds. Um, I've always loved guinea pigs. They've been like my best friends from a really young age. And that's probably because of my grandma, because my grandma had my grandma had a lot of guinea pigs and like she was always a role model for me and I always used to play with the guinea pigs when I was younger. Sadly, my grandma passed away about two years ago now. There was a fire in her guinea pig house and um, fortunately like she got out. But then she went back in to save the guinea pigs and uh, she got caught, like she got stuck and well, they all died. So I'm just looking after them all now, like all the guinea pigs I can, like proper look after them. I've even got one that reminds me of my grandma. I'm doing this for you, Grant. Like, all the money that I raise, I'm gonna put into local guinea pig farms. I can't really imagine like, sacrificing a guinea pig. But it's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna proper fight for it. I'm not going to lose you guys. Well, there is no doubt about it, you definitely love guinea pigs. I guess you're not going to be letting them any, any of them go in this game. No. <laughs> Tell us some more about your great cause you're trying to raise some money for. Well, right. Um, I've got this local guinea pig farm like down the road from me and they're involved with um, a pet rescue team that my gran used to work for so I'm gonna any money that I raise here is gonna go towards that and to stop like pet abuse and stuff. Oh well that sounds great okay let's get on with the game but first let's just recap the rules. Right, you have five questions to answer and we'll have 15 seconds to answer each question. The questions are multiple choice and you have to put a pet on the answer that you think is correct. You have to bet one pet per round and if you get the answer correct, that pet is safe. Each pet is worth £200,000 so if you get all the answers right, you'll win a million. Okay, let's get started. First question, who recently stripped off in support of Coney 2012? Was it A, Brie Olsen, B, Charlie Sheen, C, Michelle Obama, or D, Sarah Palin? Oh my God, right. I know that it's not Charlie Sheen, and I definitely know that it's not Michelle Obama. So, no, no it is, it's Charlie Sheen. You're gonna Charlie go for Sheen. B, Charlie no, Sheen? No it is, yeah, it is. <sighs> Unfortunately, that was incorrect. I'm gonna have to take your first pet. Oh no. I'm sorry. Question two, which boy band was recently given their own show on Nickelodeon? Was it A, The Wanted, B, E17, C, JLS, or D, One Direction? I know this one because of my favorite band, and I know that it's D, One Direction. <gasps> That's correct. <laughs> Question three, which rap star has recently become having secret dates with Jesse J? Was it A, Labyrinth, B, Tiny Temper, C, Puff Daddy, or D, Professor Green? I don't know, I thought she had a boyfriend. Um, well, I think it'd be C, Puff Daddy. You're gonna go for C, Puff Daddy? Yeah. That's incorrect, it was in fact B, Tiny Temper. I'm gonna have to take another. Oh God, oh no. Right. Question four. What dating show has recently been called a sham after telling contestants which people to pick? Was it A, Who's That Lass? B, Pick A Babe? C, Take Me Out? Or was it D, The Love Machine? Um, 
Well, it won't be Take Me Out and it won't be The Love Machine. So I think it'll be Pick a Babe. You're going to go babe. for B, Pick a Babe? Yeah. That was incorrect. I'm going to have to take oh. another. Oh, no. <laughs> now, for this final question, we're going to bring out your favourite pet, Daisy. Right. Unfortunately, Daisy couldn't be on the table with the other contestants. She's a bit no. of a feisty yeah, one. she's a bit feisty. So we're going to fight for Daisy now, aren't okay. we? OK, question five. <laughs> Which long-standing soap star recently reported to have slept with over a thousand women? Was it A, Shane Ritchie, B, William Roach, C, Johnny Briggs, or D, Adam Woodyat? Right. Well, it won't be William Roach, because he's that old one, isn't he? It won't be him. Oh, God, I don't know. I don't know. Come on, let's do it for Daisy. Um, I don't know, D. I'm going to say D, because D it stands for Daisy. So. D, Adam Woodyat. Right. I'm sorry, that was no. incorrect. I'm going to have to take Daisy. Oh, God. Sorry. Well, unfortunately, you've now lost all your pets and you're going to go home with nothing. How are you feeling right now? I'm just... Oh, I don't know. I'm just absolutely gutted. Like, I did this for my nun and it's just... You know, I, I feel like I've let her down. I just hope she can forgive me. OK, well, your pets are going to be given to local children homes where they'll be hugged too tight and stroked in the wrong way. What a shame. Well, we'll be back after the break with a new contestant and some very frightened pets. See you then. Bye. Thanks for sticking with the only show that tests your ultimate friendship for the chance to win £1 million. Bet your pet. I'm Peggy Badcock and if you have only just joined us, where have you been? You have only missed the lovely, if not completely eccentric, Gracie Mitchell. She came here with a few pets and a dream of starting a pet rescue home in memory, in memory of her lovely gran. But sadly, due to the nature of this game, left with less than she came. Let's hope our next contestant, Mandy Crow, can win some money and keep, more importantly, keep a hold of those pests. Let's find out more TV. about her. I can't wait to come home and try my new products on my guinea pig. My name's Mandy Crow, and this here is Subject B. And we're here to win a million pounds on Bet Your Pet. I'd always loved guinea pigs, and then poor Bernie died when I tested my nail polish on him. My dad, my dad turned him into this pelt. It was a very sad moment, yes. If I win a million pound on Bet Your Pet, I'm going to open a new testing centre called the Corella de Ville and we will exclusively test on guinea pigs. I'm only here for the money, but if I manage to keep a few guinea pigs, that's even better. Win-win. <laughs> well, Mandy, are you in sort of some contests with Gracie to see who can be the maddest? You seem to be on the other end of the scale with your passion for pets. Tell us some more about your plans. Well, my daddy has already bought me the patch of land, but I just need to win the money on here so that I can start constructing. So the quicker I win, the quicker I can start having a jolly good time testing on those little guinea pigs. And what about your lovely snug? <laughs> it's a pelt, actually, darling. <sighs> and it's 100% guinea pig. So if you want one, just call me up afterwards. Oh, well, that's very interesting indeed. But I think that now it's time to get on with the game. For those of you who've just joined, and for the benefit of Mandy, here, let's have a quick reca recap of all those important rules. Right, you have five questions to answer and we'll have 15 seconds to answer each question. The questions are multiple choice and you have to put a pet on the answer that you think is correct. You have to bet one pet per round and if you get the answer correct, that pet is safe. Each pet is worth £200,000, so if you get all the answers right, you win £1 million. However, as we saw with the last contestant, any questions you do get wrong, your pet will be removed from the game and gifted to a local charity. Although I think with the plans you've got planned to do with the pets, 
that might not be a bad thing. Does that make any sense? I think so, yes. Okay, so I'll begin. First question. Which comedian was arrested for throwing a phone through a window in LA? Peter Kay, B, Jim Carrey, C, Russell Brand, or D, Charlie Sheen? Um, well, I'd say, I'd say C, Russell Brand. As they say in Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, is that your final answer? Definitely. Let's see. That was correct, well <laughs> done. Your pet is now safe and you've banked £200,000. Question two. Which two talent shows are going head to head over the next two weeks? Is it A, The Voice and Britain's Got Talent? B, Pet Superstars and Soap Star Superstars? C, Got to Dance and Strictly Come Dancing? Or B, D, Babe Station and Craziest Nun? Um, I'd say, I'd, um, I'd say A, The Voice and Britain's Got Talent. You're gonna go for The Voice and Britain's Got Talent? Yes. That was correct, well done. <laughs> Question three. Which singer recently admitted she loved being naked? Was it A, Susan Boyle, B, Rihanna, C, Katy Perry, or D, Britney Spears? Um, I'd say A, Susan Boyle. A, Susan Boyle. Yes. I'm afraid that was incorrect. I'm gonna have to take your first pet. No, not subject J. Sorry, Mandy, although I think we're all relieved that at least one of your pets won't be tested on. Question four. Which famous actor was recently arrested outside Sudden's embassy in Washington, D.C.? Was it A, George Clooney, B, Brad Pitt, C, Bill Nye, or D, Matt Damon? Um, well, it's not, it's not Bill Nye. Um, A. George Clooney, he's a little minx, isn't he? You're going to go for A, George Clooney? Yes. That was correct. <laughs> well, as, as you only have four pets to bet, we're going to bring a previous pet from our last contestant. We've got Daisy here, but be careful, she does bite. So now on to question five. Which band recently announced they will be back on tour next month? Was it A, S Club 7? B, Big Brothers, C, Steps, or D, Hearsay? Oh, I, I know this one. It's the one that was singing, I'm in the middle of a chain reaction. Um, it's, it's C, it's Steps. That is correct. <gasps> well, you've answered almost all of the questions correctly, which means you keep, you keep 800,000 pounds and get to keep most of your pets. <gasps> oh, goody! <laughs> yeah. I just hope you don't hurt too much of the animals. Well, today's been very eventful here at Betty Pet HQ. A massive congratulations to Mandy and commiserations to Gracie, both of who played ex excellently. Don't forget, you can catch our follow-up show for interviews with the contestants and a mind-reading session with the pets in our ITV2 show, The Pet Shop, starting now. All that's left to say now is goodbye and thanks for watching. We'll see you same time next week with some more pet betters looking at keeping their pets and trying to win that £1 million. Bye.